live is a South Korean zombie movie, which was released on June 24th, but came to Netflix um, yesterday, September 8th. I've been hearing a lot online, so I had to check it out. And um, I was pretty impressed. A lot of zombie cliches, but still good. This movie is really about um, a young kid, teenager, who's uh, home alone in his apartment. And he has to survive. He has to, um, he has to find a way to live long enough to be rescued. And it's just a pretty simple concept. You've probably seen it before in movies like Bird Box where it's like a disaster going on outside and people um, are trapped. And in Bird Box's case, it's a, it's a home with a bunch of people. And they both, you know, make interesting plots, you know, different personalities in a Bird, bird Box colliding. And then in this one, it's just him by himself trying to maintain his sanity trying to survive by not starving, you know, rationing his food. I like uh, what they call, I think they call it a one-room movie, where most of the film takes place in one room. I like those kind of movies. The last one I saw was um, Hateful Eight by Quentin Tarantino, where most of that movie takes place in, um, in a cabin. And he's known for that. He's done that a few times. He's done that before with Reservoir Dogs. I like those kind of movies. And they did it pretty well here. You have to get real creative with those kind of movies because you only have so much to work with. And they did. They did, they did a real good job. But in my opinion, it was a little bit too long. It should have been like an hour and a half. It's, um, the runtime is 99 minutes. I think 90 would have been okay. It's not a huge difference, but an hour and a half would have been all right. Like I said, this movie has a few cliches and you can kind of see things coming kind of predictable but it's predictable in a very entertaining kind of way you know what's going to happen you just don't know how it's going to happen so it still makes it a fun movie to watch like the main star the standout here is uh the main actor yo i i think it's his name he stands out the girl i think she's not meant to stand out i think it's really his story so that's understandable you know yeah so from from 1 to 10, I give this a solid 7. It's good, entertaining. I don't think it's going to be a classic or anything, but it's still good. Now stay tuned for my live reaction video. I ain't got a goddamn thing to watch. I'm bored out of my fucking mind. I'm going to watch a Korean horror movie. I've been hearing a few things about this movie online. Gotta check it out. The fuck, this motherfuckers in English? He said, "Mom." Oh, okay. It's uh dubbed in English. I thought it was gonna be in Korean with subtitles. Oh, I hate that fucking noise when I get it. I like when zombie movies start like this. But it's been done before a lot, so it's not a good sign. Mom? It's gonna attack her watch. Oh, never mind. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, come on. It's a little predictable. But well, let's see. I did it. I did it. No. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Kill that motherfucker. Looks like it's getting better. I missed the, uh, the original zombies. The slow zombies who could barely walk and shit. Why do drones gotta be so damn noisy? There has to be a way to muffle it. See what I mean? Why they gotta run? I think it was more interesting that in the original, a bunch of zombies would have to gang, like gang up on you. That's right guys, don't forget to subscribe. There's supposed to be like ad placement 
whatever you call that. Yeah, he's definitely drunk. This must have been a cheap movie to make. It's a, I think they call it a one room movie, where most of it takes place in one room. Is he, is he still drunk? What the hell's wrong with him? I'll be trying to be as quiet as possible. Brains. This one ain't got no eyeballs. Trick or treat. Day 20 with no water. I think he'd be dead by now. Oh, he got, got the liquor though. Yeah. Fuck, you didn't say anything before, man. You see, these youngsters nowadays, they don't know about the, um, the string in the can. We could get two cans, put a long ass string in between, and they could talk to each other. Just, just tie the string to a rock and just throw that shit over. What the hell is that? Yo, she built a little fort. That damn drone comes in handy. What to do to our zombie friend? This movie just turned into a rom-com. What the fuck? I don't know. He seems too good to be true. Something's up with that guy. I knew it. Too good to be true. There's always humans against humans in every zombie movie. Or even TV show. And that's actually realistic. During the corona thing, people were acting like assholes with each other. Why did he let go of that gun? Fuck your wife. Boom. Oh no. I'm sorry, but what the hell is smoke gonna do to a zombie? Get to the chopper! I bet she jumped off the building. Oh, never mind. They would have heard that, that chopper long before they first heard it. They made it to the chopper. Not bad, not bad at all. Not as good as the original, but I mean, by that I mean the 1991. Uh, but I like it, it's pretty good. Uh, seven out of 10. I could watch it again, it's pretty good. A little too long, but still good. All right, y'all, as always, stay safe, stay healthy out there.